Okay guys, welcome back. And today, we are going to answer the most commonly asked question on Facebook or any of the Nova forums or groups. What is the biggest wheel and tire combo that I can get on my stock 68 to 72, actually probably 68 to 74 uh, Nova? And today, we are going to answer that question for you. So here I have our custom wheel. This bad boy is a Wheel Ventiques steel wheel with a custom offset. Now, here's the key things to know. So, Wheel Ventiques, if you call them, you can get whatever offset you want. You just have to call them and give them your measurements and they'll do whatever you want for you. I waited almost a year for these wheels because of the custom modifications I wanted and everything else. But for me, running a steel wheel on my green car that had that factory look but also being able to get the widest tire that i could get on there was pretty important so this is a 15 by 8 steel wheel with the center ring that will fit the dog dish style hubcap now this is a series 62 wheel originally these come with i believe it's a four it is a four and a like stock if you're just going to buy this off of their website it's a four and a quarter inch backspacing but in order to run a 275 6015, you need to change that backspacing. You'll never fit it with that four and a quarter inch backspacing. Now, a lot of people say they run the five inch, which some wheel manufacturers sell a five inch backspacing, and some wheel manufacturers sell a five and a half inch backspacing. And for some guys, this works, either one of those, but Usually they require some modifications. If you're running like the five and a half inch backspacing really close to the, you know, the inner wheel tub or their shocks. And if they're running the five inch, a lot of guys are rolling the inner, uh, that lip on the inside of the quarter panel. And I didn't want to have any of those problems. So I measured and I figured out that five and a quarter, 5.25 is the magic number to get a 15 by 8 wheel to fit on your stock unmodified rear suspension Chevy Nova. This will allow our 275-6015s to fit without any modifications to the back of that car. One thing that aided in these taking so long to get here was I ordered the custom backspacing and I ordered, or you know, they offered, so I took it, to powder coat them. And after a year, I finally, uh, we're in no rush for these wheels because we already had wheels on the car. But uh, after a year, I finally called them and was like, what's the deal? And they told me that they, you know, we're not capable of powder coating them. So I said, well, abandon the powder coating, ship them out to me, and we'll do the same thing that we did with the other steel wheels that are on the car, you know? I've got a couple paint cans and an index finger we're just going to rattle can it. It's going to work. It'll be fine. One thing that we're still waiting on now that these are finally here is uh, I need some metal valve stems because anything faster than an 1199 at a drag strip requires a steel valve stem. The valve stems should be here any day now and then uh, we'll get these things mounted and balanced and thrown on the car and show you what it fits like.
All right, guys. Well, as you can see, we got the Nova pushed outside today, and we've got our new wheels and tires mounted and balanced. So we're going to get these guys off of here and see if our new ones fit. What we're taking off of here right now is the sh like street setup that I've got on the car. These are a 255 uh, 60 15 on a 15 by 7 steel wheel and we're going to be replacing those with these 275 60 15s on our custom backspacing uh, 15 by 8 steel wheel so it's going to be a little bit of a process getting these guys on because unlike the 255 60 15s which we can just jack up the rear of the car and sneak them on inside the quarter panel. These aren't gonna fit that way. We're gonna have to jack up the rear, put jack sands under it, lower the rear so that there's no load on the suspension and the rear drops down, then put the 275s on and then jack the car back up, pull the jack stands out and lower the car back down. So let's get that done. Alright, so before we go ahead and load the new wheels and tires on there, take a look at the difference between the 255 versus the 275. Now again, this is a 255 on a 15 by 7 as opposed to now our uh, 275 on a 15 by 8. They're going to be really close. So, let's get these bad boys on there. got them on there it's a tight fit let me show you guys what we got inside of the quarter clears now we've got about an inch of space between the inside of the tire and our leaf spring try and fish you up here you can see we got plenty of room between the tire and the inside of our wheel tub so that's going to be fine and plenty of space between the tire and the shock. So when I went to the 255s, I actually had the same issue. The factory exhaust uh, pipe here hits the inside of the tire. So all I did when I put the 255s on was just put a breaker bar in here and just bend it a little bit and it worked fine, but we're going to have to go a smidge bit more for the 275s. But it's definitely tight. So I flipped the QA1 shocks so that we can reach the adjustments because everything being so big, um, 
it was really hard to get to those adjustments, especially when they were right up against the backing plate for the drum brakes. So we flipped those inside, and it looks like they're going to be okay without the shackle bolt ripping the, the adjustments off. So that's going to be good. But this thing is the most race card out six-cylinder car of all time. And hopefully soon we, uh, we get to put in the, the V8 in this thing because... This is crazy. Woo. That's tight. But there you have it, fellas. That is the absolute biggest you can go on. A stock, unmodified, rear suspension Chevy Nova. Now, I have some hopped up speed parts on this car, like the split model Leafs, and it does have a Curry 9 inch in it. But the Curry 9 inch is set up for Nova and has all the stock uh, mounting locations for the springs and everything. So really, this would work on any Nova, it, whether it's got a 10 bolt in it, a 12 bolt, whatever. This will work on any Nova that has a factory style suspension and isn't altered in any way. And by altered, I mean like wheel tubs or uh, relocation of the shocks. Now, if, if you ran like an air shock with a fatter body on it, that might be a problem. But if you're running primarily stock setup, you can fit a 275 6015 on this car, but it's the absolute max that you could fit on this car. And like I said, the, the keys to that, without having to do any modifications to the body, like trimming the inside of the quarter panel, or relocating your shocks are to make sure that that offset on the wheel is correct. And the magic number is 5.25. Pretty much it, guys. It's going to close out this video. Uh, I think at some point we're going to do something kind of kind of neat and trick with the front, too, with a, like a racing style wheel. So we've got like our trick sleeper set up. Oh, we don't have the dog dishes on. I'll pop those on for you real quick before I close out the video. But uh, I think we're going to do something trick with the front setup. These steel wheels are pretty heavy, which is going to be fine in the back. But uh, I definitely don't want to run, you know, if we're going to if we're gonna try and go really fast in this car, uh, I don't want to run a steel wheel in the front because rotational mass and all that science. I still want to retain that sleeper look. So we'll see. Stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we are going to see you guys next time.